Hi everybody, it's Pam at the Paper Outpost. Have you ever wanted some fun and easy things to add to your journal that just might make it a little bit special, just uh, and that are super fun and quick and easy to do? I made these cute little pencils as little add-ons to this journal, and I thought that was um, uh, a nice little thing to add. So somebody has instantly something to write with. You can attach them. I just loosely put this here with a um, um, elastic cord to show you an example. You could have like a, an elastic cord, just hold them in place, or you could tie them from a uh, spine dangle or perhaps tuck them into, if your journal is tied here, you could tuck it right in here. There's a myriad of ways that you can attach your pencil to your journal, but this video is just about decorating the pencil. So if you happen to have a pile of something that looks like this hanging around, really, you know, not too exciting. It's been sitting there for about a hundred years and you just can't come to parting with it. Let's have some fun with it. So grab your pencil stash. Doesn't matter if the ends are perfect or not. Um, doesn't matter what these ends look like. As long as you have a sharpener, you should be okay. And uh, let me give you a little close up of the prototypes here. Okay. So let me do, oh, see how close we can go. Oh, that's very close. Okay. So this little pencil here has a gold gilded tip gift wrap around the outside thread embroidery thread bound around the um the green part there and then um, i have a bunch of um uh, broken jewelry so i thought huh how are you gonna get a little uh dangly thing on top well how about some broken jewelry and uh, that's only one idea there's a million and one ideas what you could dangle from the top or not have anything for the top um totally up to you and it is removable so that makes it easier just comes right out okay and uh it just goes right back in um so this is uh something to add that's fun to add to your journal anytime and uh let me show you little prototype number two here's little no prototype number two still drying um he has a little piece of broken jewelry there as well i think that was an earring in its uh former life and a little bit of green embroidery th thread and then um, some more wrapping paper. This wrapping paper looked like this. Boy, we're close, aren't we? And um, also the gilded tip. Not mandatory, and you could also use paint. You don't have to use gilding wax, but um, let's make a couple of these and have some fun with this. Let me back up a little bit so you can see what on earth is going on. Okay. Uh, so it does not take a lot of supplies, which is very nice. And um, I did pens before, I believe, but I have I don't think I've done pencils. So I thought, well, let's let's play with some pencils and let's have some fun. Um, poor little pencils always get ignored in life. And uh, actually, pencils are very nice to write with. Okay, so um, first thing you do is you just grab some gift wrap. So if you've got any pretty gift wrap, maybe some wedding gift wrap, uh, bridal shower gift wrap. I think a lot of these I got at the thrift store or um, you know something like that. Uh, the Dollar Tree also has gift wrap. Uh, so if you're looking for inexpensive supplies, this is it. Maybe just, but you really don't need much. Okay. I, okay. So just grab some pretty gift wrap and let's make one of these guys. All right. Let's, which one should we make? Um, maybe this one. I haven't made this one yet. This is a, um, like a wedding wrap. Okay. So let me just grab one of these little lovelies here. And uh, who's feeling extra lovely tonight? You are, Mr. Uh, Ticonderoga Pencil. Yeah, you're really e excited about life. So let's take you over here. I'm not going to sharpen it yet. I'm going to sharpen it at the end because um, the reason I wanted to use gift wrap is because it's very thin. And I thought once the pencil is nice and dry, it'll sharpen easily with the gift wrap on it. If you use something thick, it might get jammed in your sharpener and it might have a more difficult time. Uh, so we are going to try it with uh, some gift wrap and see how we do. All right. Now, if you have a glue mat under you, like I do, you want to move that. And uh, let me clear my desk. Okay. Um, you never hear me say that. I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So all you do is you take your pencil and you're going to measure now um, where you, and it's, it's nice to start at, uh, how, I, I'm going to start below the green, like um, here. Okay. So that's where I'm going to start to measure. And I want to take it up to at least here. So I'm just, I'm, uh, and then you want to do, you want to be able to wrap your pencil around at least once. It doesn't take much. You don't want to keep wrapping and wrapping till the cows come home because then it's going to get too thick and you probably won't be able to sharpen it. 
So I made my marks and let's see if I can do this with the old tearing ruler, hopefully. I'm gonna flip it over so it has a sharper edge. Okay. I go a little wider. I just don't want to be shy. I don't think it's short, but really you don't need much here. You want to test it? You can always go in and test. I know it's, it's facing it. All it has to do is wrap around and just overlap just a smidgeroo. So yeah, that's plenty. Okay. Just a smidgeroo. And these are fun. I mean, you could just do these for all sorts of different holidays and um, you could personalize them for people. Um, gosh, there's so many things you could do. Now I chose, no, nope, now I have to make one more trim. Yes, this way. Now um, I chose to work with a white glue and the glue I'm gonna work with today is Art Glitter Glue. And I haven't worked with my Art Glitter Glue forever. Um, and now that I've cleared the plug, there was a, it was plugged at the bottom. I've cleared it with, I'll show you what I cleared it with. Where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. Anyway, it was a paper clip. Yeah, I just opened up the paper clip and I shoved it in and out of the hole a bunch of times and then it finally opened. Okay, so you can do a couple things here. Just want to test measure where we're at the right length. Yeah, that looks good. And um, you can either glue your paper or you can glue the pencil, but I am going to glue the paper. Now, sometimes if the art glitter glue has been, you know, ignored for a while, you might get a goober chunk out every once in a while and you want to remove that because you don't want any bumps underneath your, uh, um, uh, underneath the, the gift wrap, you want it to lay nice and smooth. Okay. And it's very important. This is, this is probably the most important thing. You want to get the edges good, get the edges real good. I'm going to use a finger smoosh to take it out to the edges, but I'm just going to make sure I have enough to cover the edges. That's very, very important with this one. Very, very important. Okay. So we're going to just finger smoosh our way to the edges and we know we get our edges and you want to get the middle too, but those edges, boy, let me tell you, they are something. Okay. Now, now the paper will start to curl cause it's wet cause it's wet white glue. That's what we deal with in life. We just do. Okay. And don't worry too much if it doesn't go exactly to the top, right where you needed, wanted it to, because we're going to cover that with string and you want to make sure that is down. And then you want to roll pretty firmly cause you want to get it nice and flush. You don't want any air bubbles. You don't want any lumpy loose. None of that nonsense. You just want that flush, flush yourself. That's right. <laughs> you be flush. Okay. There we go. That was pretty easy, right? Now at the end here, um, I'm just, uh, gosh, can you even see it? Light is terrible. Okay. Hang on. Oh, oh, yeah. No, no, I'll get a wiggle mouse on me. There you go. Okay. So I'm just going to shape it to the end of the pencil. And then once that's dry, I'm going to, uh, sharpen it, but let's play with the rest of the pencil while that's drying. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, um, once you got it on there, it's pretty much on there and you got a nice decorated pencil and that took what about two seconds. That was no big deal. And, and a very small piece of paper. So that's one fun way to get started. And you can totally stop there and just go and say, okay, I'm done, done crafting for the day. And, uh, I don't want to go any further. Um, my pencil's already pretty. Um, I got a couple other techniques I thought I'd try with you to amp these pe pencils up to take them up to a new level, but let's do, where are my prototypes? Um, prototype, pro, pro, uh, pencils? Where'd you go? Oh, right here. Okay. Um, so this is, this is what we had and we're, I'm just going to go ahead and make one like this. So you can see that right from the get go. And then you can just use your imagination, however you want to go after that. I mean, this was just one example I did. Okay. So on this one, I'm going to come along here and I'm going to use Fabrifix. It's this glue. If you've never seen it, Fabrifix clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. And, uh, it, um, it just glues really well in a situation like this because we're going to glue some embroidery floss to it. You could use any pretty string. You could use a ribbon. You could do all sorts of fun things. Um, you are only limited by your imagination here. So I'm just giving it a little finger smooth. I'm not gluing the eraser. I'm just gluing that uh, green part. And you could actually cover that green part with the paper if you wanted to, too. But I, I don't know. I was just in a mood and I thought I would, uh, maybe I'll do the green. I think that'll pop a little better. All right. What are you eating? What? Hey, hey. I don't know if you can see this, but there is an intruder under my tablecloth. What? What are you doing? Hello, my little mouse. Yep. Yep. I hear munching. I hear munching. Okay. I'll be right back. And we're back. 
back. Yes, emergency uh, handled. Okay, we still have some stick here. I think this will work. Okay, so I'm just going to start. And I'll just start at the bottom because that sounds like a good place to start. Maybe a little, here, let me go a little closer so you can see this fascinating process, which is very easy. And just try and uh, butt it against itself as you go around. And if you don't quite get it, which I didn't, I had gaps. Whoops, sorry. I had gaps. I did. I had gaps when I did it the first time. I just went back down and, and, and covered it again. And this is very easy. This is not rocket science. And anybody can do this. And I think the results are cute. You know? Hey. Um, excuse me, Mr. Fluffer Pants. Did we not agree to not to do that? Hey, Sunny Bear. You want a Cheerio? Go get a Cheerio. Okay, that's my diversionary uh, trick. In uh, dire straits, that's what I do. Yep. <laughs> okay. Are you feeling sleepy? No, not at all, Mom. I'm ready to go. <laughs> all right, actually, I did okay that time. But you can come back down and uh, glue it uh, and, and uh, keep going. So just kind of know that. And I'm just going to cut this off. Glue that there and just let that grab. All right. So we have a cute little glued end and we have the pencil uh, body and then we have the little end. So now let's do the big test. Hopefully this is dry now. Don't know, but we'll find out. The pencil sharpener. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. This is a great pencil sharpener. If you don't have a good pencil sharpener, this Derwent one, it's awesome. You know how like some tools are okay? No, this one's awesome. Okay, this is what you do. Okay, now you sharpen your pencil. And you go until it's easy and that means it's done sharpening. Okay, all right, so um, it doesn't do a bad job. Sometimes it's, it's, it could have been a little dry, probably drier, but you just kind of smooth it out. And remember, it's just for presentation purposes. They're going to sharpen it, and it's, it's, it's still a functioning pencil. It will sharpen all the way up. Um, but I decided to go ahead and use some gilding paste, gilding wax, to gold it up a little bit on the end just to kind of, um, I don't know, make it special. You know, it's, it's a journal, and we want to make things a little special. It doesn't make your ink right, uh, gold. It just... Uh, give some color to the end of the pencil, which I think is sort of pretty. And then if you want, because of the ridges on the pencil, you can kind of rub your finger over the, um, the ridges, the ridges, and you will get some pretty um, golding on your pencil as well. So you can kind of amp it up that way. And these are just very easy, very easy techniques to do. So this one is basically done. All right, little snuffer, pa snuffer pants. Little snuffer pants of love. Can you come out from there? Okay, no, we're gonna we're gonna have to go to plan B. Okay. <laughs> I put a box in front of it. And uh, we should be okay now. I'm not admitting to anything. No, it wasn't me. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, so we have a gold pencil, gold tip pencil now, and we're actually pretty darn cute as is. But if you wanna do the little fancy end, I used an I think this is called an eye pin because it, it looks like an eye. Because you, you see, it looks like an eye because um, there's a circle at the end. It's uh, from jewelry making and I cut it pretty short because it's only going to go into the pencil. So I cut it about, I don't know, super short. Like I tried it longer and it was stuck out too much. So it was like, maybe now I'm afraid to cut it too short. Okay, here we go. There. These are... Uh, uh, ribbed, ridged uh, pliers, jewelry pliers with a wire nipper in the center. Very handy. You can get them at any craft store or online. Um, and I have all the links and everything in my Amazon shop down below. You can just shove this in with your fingers, which it will go, which is not difficult to do. But if you have a pair of these, it just goes right in. Boom. See that? Oh, thanks. Finally, something that worked. <laughs> so there you go. I have glue on my fingers. Well, imagine that, huh? Imagine that. Okay, so then I can hang anything, anything I want from that. So I thought this time, instead of doing a hard little object, because maybe not everybody has broken jewelry hanging around, and um, I get my broken jewelry from uh, eBay. I buy it by the pound, and uh, you just have broken jewelry forever, and it's very inexpensive, and... Um, 
uh, you're good. You pretty much buy it once and that's it. You don't need any more. But you probably have a bunch of stuff hanging around, you know, I would imagine. And if you do, then you might want to use your own resources first. Maybe you got some broken jewelry, a loan earring that has no mate. But I thought, well, you know, let's just uh, maybe put some fluffies on the end of this guy here. All right. Maybe we can just thread him. Let's try it and see if it'll work. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, but I'm through. I'm through. Okay. Now what? Okay. Well, we could make a tassel. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's make the tassel separately and then let's just do it. All right. I'm going to make a little tassel. We're just, I've got two colors and I'm just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. All right. Just going to make a little quickie tassel. I haven't made a tassel in a hundred years, so this is probably going to be the worst tassel ever, but just roll with me here. <laughs> okay. All right. And then if you line up all your loopies, if you line up all your loopies, life is good. Okay. There we go. I would gather my loopies at the top. So I have, I can go through there and I can, would probably, how I just ran into a sore toe that I have. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Sore toe. Um, I have one of these jump rings from jewelry making and I'm just going to open that up. Okay. It's much easier with this little guy. If you have this little guy, it just gives you the strength of a hundred men, women, children. Okay. He's playing with his stuffed gator all is well. Uh, and I'm going to hook it through. This is the plan. Actually, yeah. Do you really need this thing? I don't know. Probably to, to get it to, okay. I think you could do this with just string too. You probably don't need this part, but we'll just do it because we got this far. All right. Putting it on. All right. If you don't have a jump ring, just tie it with a string through the ends and that will bring them together. Well, maybe we don't want to bring them. We want to, we want to maybe hook it on. Let's hook it on. Let's hook it on before we close it up. What a great idea. What a great grand idea. Oh, there we went Irish. Holy mackerel. Um, <laughs> Was it awful? It was awful, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Can you tell what, what corner of the country I was from? No, me neither. All righty then. Um, and then we just take, well, we could just, we could just snip these. Let's just snip them. And we make a, a little floosy tackle, ta 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 tassel. All right, let's do that. And then I'm just going to take some of this same stuff and I'm just going to bind it. Yeah, I'm sure there are probably more official ways of making a tassel, but this is called the, the quickie don't research it first method. But I thought a little tassel might just look adorable on here and you could hang little beads from it and stuff like that. Wouldn't that be cute? That would be so cute. Okay. So, eh. okay. And maybe one more for good measure. Okay. There we go. Have I got my little ends aligned? Let me make sure. There we go. Oh, it's very strange. Telling me I don't have much room left, but oh, wait a minute. Where are my scissors? Where are my scissors? There they are. Okay, oh, there we go. And we have a tassel. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Actually, I think I like that better than the jewelry. I don't know. There's just something cute about that. And you could do ribbons. You could make a really pretty Victorian one. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be so cool. Anyway, that is one. And here's number two. And I have, oh, here's the first one with, um, this is a broken earring, I believe, hanging on its end. So you can put your vote in. Which one do you like the best? Um, they were all fun. And let's do, oh, the last one I was going to make was, um, okay, so we did one with, we did one with wrapping paper. Why is everything, okay, hiding on me? Okay, here we go. Because you have such a messy desk. Are you kidding me? Don't you know why? Let's grab another pencil. We'll take a Ticonderoga again. Why not? And I thought I'd use some old newspaper. That would be kind of cool, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've got this really old newspaper. I love this stuff. Oh, I could roll an old newspaper all day. Isn't that weird? That's so weird, isn't it? Um, but I think I'm going to roll my pencil in it. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So we will take our measurements and we will, okay, right about the Z. I think I can just tear it faster. So you don't need all these fancy tools. Who needs tools? We have our fingers. That's all we really need in life. 
And here we go. What's on this side? Let's make sure I have all words. Yeah, I'm going go this way. Okay. This is way too wide. I don't need all this. This is like double what I really need. So let me go ahead and tear it before I glue it. That would be wise. Yep. 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 Put it down. Okay. And let's pick it up. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's okay. Pretend that didn't happen. Carry on. Nobody saw the tear. We're just carrying on because we're going to glue the bejeebers out of it. Exactly. That's our plan. All right. So put that down. Get the uh, art glitter glue and get yourself gluing. Now you know you're torn, so don't pull too hard. And make sure you get your edges. So when you do your finger smooth, you're going to be very gentle because you have a little tear. Because you're very, I'm pretty sure most book pages, I mean, as long as it's not a super thick book page or something, you should be all right. Okay, I'm being very, my gingerly approach here is approaching like super gingerama. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, we're like barely, I'm just, oh goodness gracious, I've got glue all over my hands. I really think at this point I should grab, I'm going to, I'm going to put the tear on the inside. Grab a baby wipe. This is really handy when you're going deep like this with the pencil decorating. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Now you move over there. Oh, what the, I need more glue there. I can see it. I can see it. All right. All right. Let's just try this. Put her down. Put her down, Pam. Okay. Now, now just roll it. Get nice and flush. Oh, no, no, no. You stay flush. No anti-flushing. Okay, rolling, rolling, rolling. We're done. We probably went over a little further, but that's okay. Now, I, I think it's very important to go in and crease. This looks really cool, doesn't it? Doesn't that look really awesome? Let's see what that looks like with a journal. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, we're talking book page love. Okay, that, that was highly rewarding emotionally. It feels like paper, which is awesome. You could coat it with Mod, Mod Podge. Stop licking my toe, <laughs> my little bumpkin. <laughs> um, okay, hang on, I gotta put my feet up so we can't get them. All right, mother is going to now contort herself into a the rubber woman up here. Okay, there. I'm all I'm all in a ball now. Okay, um, we're gonna play so much fetch later. You'll have no idea, little guy. That's right. You'll be so tired and exhausted from all the play. All right, so now let's decorate our top, and uh, maybe I'll try ribbon this time. Hang on. Or, or, hey, 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 see, I could do the ribbon and that would look very pretty, but it's a little thin. You kind of see through it. I guess you have to go and I think I'm going to use this crocheted lace. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh yeah. Okay. So maybe I'll put the ribbon down first because it'll give me a little coverage and it's soft and this is seam binding, not, not ribbon. Well, I guess it's sort of a ribbon. Okay. So let's just put a little fabric fix here. Come on, fabric fix. You don't get drying out on me now. Okay. You're coming. Oh, you're coming. Okay. Here we go. And we're goobering and we're goobering. Okay. Now just run around there with the fingers. All nice and even. Don't worry if it gets on the eraser. It'll just roll off eventually. And um, maybe just cut a small piece. I was like, what, an inch and a half of ribbon of any kind will work. Okay, we need a little extra. There we go. This is fun. I could decorate pencils all day. I don't know. There's just something very rewarding about decorating pencils and making them unique. Uh, it's so easy. And, and, and don't, don't we all have this? We all have this, right? This is somewhere in everybody's place. These things just collect over time and we, we hang on to them for some strange reason because we think that the pencil will be resurrected and maybe this is the pencil's big day. Maybe this is it. All right, so let's get some more glue. Let's bring in all close and personal like. Okay, here we go. And I just put some glue on there. And you be, this is kind of pretty liberal because you're gluing fabric to fabric. So we want a nice hold. Now probably, oh, get that baby wipe. Yep, okay. Um, a butting against itself is probably the best situation here. So let's try that. We will aim for that round. And then right where it meets, you know, everybody get glued down where once you came. Glue. Do I need more glue there? Maybe if I need more glue, I have more glue. 
All right, so now, well, am I all over the place? Sorry. I'm trying to bring myself back to the fold. Um, okay, so I'm just going to try and cut exactly what I need. It's going to be tricky. Okay, go for a little more if you have to. can always cut off more. Eh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, and you can kind of, like, if it's a little shy, just pull it a little. You have a little leeway with fabric. There's a little stretchy give sort of maneuver in there. If you need a little extra glue in there, just squash it in. Yeah, there we go. There, isn't that? That's cute, isn't it? That's really cute. Okay, now, this is what we have so far. Now, there is my eye pin. Okay, little eye pin. We're going to put you in. We don't need much. Okay. No? Zoom in so you can see what's going on. Don't need much. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Uh, maybe a third of an inch. Um, I guess it all depends how fat your pencil eraser is. All right. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just get it started. Ugh. And then we'll use the muscle force of this. Oh, I, I feel like the Hulk. I feel like the Hulk when I do this because it just comes in and out so easy with this thing. Okay, so now I have a little eye hook. And um, I thought maybe I'd do a little, a little like tassel with this. Wouldn't that be pretty? That would be really pretty. Okay. And you could probably put multiple things through. And you could probably use a needle too, like one of those big eye needles. Where is that? I have one of those. Okay. Will I make it through there? I don't know. Nope, too big. I got a skinnier one. Try a skinnier one. Let's see if this guy goes through. Do you go? Yeah, when you get these, get a pack. No, nope, that one doesn't go through either. All right, scrap that idea. If you have a smaller one than that, it will work. But sometimes you can wrap these guys into a little point, And all you have to do is get the little point through. And you can glue them and roll them in between your fingers to get a sharper point. But this is, this is a pretty big... Oh, I can, I can get through there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I can tie a little bowski or something. Oh, sorry. I'm all over the place. A little bowski or something up there. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, that would be totally cute. All right. So let's do that. All right. That's easy. I can do that. Yeah. You can do that too. It's easy. <laughs> all right. This is fun. This is super fun. I don't know. Um, making fun things to add to journals is, is just extra fun. It's like icing on the grand journal cake of it all. You know, I made a little bow. Okay, do the wrap around and the pulse. Oh, I lost it. Okay, on live TV, she loses it. Okay, here we go. And we're pulling. Yeah, we can do a bow. Oh, okay, there we go. And we can always retract, right? This is looking very Victorian, isn't it? I don't know. There's probably no Victorian pencil that looks like this, but it just feels like it's a Victorian pencil. I'm like, okay, it's not a quill. I know, I know. And I have the feather. Yes, I'll get there one day. I'm not there yet. Uh, but I have secured the goose feather. If you were listening to my podcast, you'll know the story of the goose feather. I think that's where I said it. Yes, but anyway, I found a goose feather on the front of my lawn. I think it's a goose feather. I'm assuming it's a goose feather. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, I had a little, little uh, paper cut. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? Look how cute that is. Okay, you can probably straighten it out and make it all perfect like, but um, I don't know. I just think that's cute. And you could probably do something with drapey things and stuff too, but that's just so much fun. So let's sharpen this baby and see how it goes. Putting it in, it should be dry. Okay. Okay, oh, yeah, hold up here, sorry. There, so it goes loose and then pull it off. There we go. And I, I think the paper will stick better if you wait until it's bone dry. But let me come in with the big backup. And you could also come in here with black too. That would be a nice color. Maybe we'll try black this time. Maybe, uh, what can I color this with? Um, how about a marker? Let me get a, let me get a something. Where's a something? Fine. S B. What's that? Super bold. This one? Let's see how fat you are. I need a fat one. Okay, you're not bad. Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen SB. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just see if this works. I don't know if it's going to work on it. Oh, well, hey. Anyway. Stop yipping. 
it is coloring it. It's kind of cool. Okay, come in close. You can see all the action. And it goes right over the, kind of goes over the yellow stuff. Not bad. There's a little bit of yellow pencil showing. And I'm just going to go down here just to, I don't know, fool the eye. We're trompo laying. We're fooling the eye that this is a, some kind of weird black pencil. It's not, it's, well, it's a pencil pencil. And um, maybe if I want to be extra sassy pants, maybe I, I want to, uh, it almost looks like a quill pen or something, doesn't it? Yes, I will now dip into my ink pot and write my story. Yes, in my journal, because that's what I do. Yes, here, there I go, writing and dipping, dipping and writing. Okay, that's what we do. Okay, now you could take a piece of, oh, what time was it? Okay. Um, do I have a gold? Can we get a, can we get a gold? Hello, gold, gold. I don't know, we'll try this one. Probably won't work in this moment. I've got a Jane Davenport Mediterranean Sea. Let's see what color this is. Oh, grab any piece of paper. Oh, goodness gracious. Why is there never a piece of paper when you need it? Does this, is this, oh no, it's gold. Yeah, we got gold. Okay, let's see if we can make a, a gold line here because there's a little gold. Oh, it, oh, it, I just think it wiped off the black. Hang on. Is it working? I don't know. Let's see. All righty. Just give it like a band, a gold band. We might need more black to cover it, fill that in. But it, the wood really absorbed the black very nicely. I really like that. Where's that? Where did that little marker go? Let's come back in here with that. Let's see if we can jazz it up a little. Yeah, just give it a little bit more there. And I think that's pretty much good to go. And we're just going for look and effect, right? Right. And it's still a perfectly functioning pencil. So if you've had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share, and comment. I would love to hear what you think about the decorated pencils. Is this crazy? Is it something fun you'd like to try? It, have you done stuff like this already? And you just, I, I don't think this is a new idea of decorating pencils, but um, you know, it was just fun to play with and just see how they, they can look so different. They can all have their own little personality. I, I really like that little tassel. It's like, hey, hey. Yeah. Um, so there you go, folks. So if you're looking for any tools and supplies, I have an Amazon shop. All my links are down below in my drop down description box. I have an Etsy shop where I have um, vintage digital kits, digi kits, which you can download and print out and um, uh, use as you like. And also I am making uh, ephemera collections or I call them fundles, ephemera bundles, fundles. And um, basically they're collections of actual um, antique and vintage and fun types of paper. Um, uh, there are a uh, hundred pieces um, in each collection. And um, these actually get hard, these are hard copies and they get mailed to you. So they're not uh, uh, download digitals, um, but they are, um, uh, I just made another round of those. So if you're interested in those, just hop on over to my Etsy shop and check one of those out. And um, there's lots of fun things in there for you to explore. And I have a little video on it. I'm going to do a better video, so, uh, uh, more of a uh, yeah, up close and personal of what's actually in there. Uh, and um, I think it might give you a better idea of, of things that you might find and explore. And there's, I'm always putting, as I come across new things, I'm adding new things to it. So um, it has ledger papers and... Um, um, hand dyed papers and uh, old postcards, old handwritten letters, old um, cover like envelopes from days gone by, receipts from days gone by. I mean, just a whole myriad of uh, very interesting things that you can uh, uh, use. It's a nice way to get your hands on a lot of uh, really cool stuff in one spot without having to go to a million places or tear apart a million books. Um, there's really cool book pages in there too, and there's a big um, nature. Um, section as well. 
Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll do another video and give you a better uh, idea of what's exactly in there. Um, oh, okay. I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. So if uh, you like to get a free digital image each month emailed to you without blinking an eye, just go ahead and sign up for that. The link is down below in the drop down description box. And you'll get a um, note from the bookmaker, a checklist of supplies. Uh, the note from the bookmaker explains what a junk journal is. And it's something that I tuck inside my big chunky monkey junk journal so that people will have an idea of uh, what they can do with this big chunky monkey and um, especially if they've never seen one and uh, um, I've got podcasts and they come out Tuesdays and Thursdays and I talk about everything related to paper crafting junk journaling life of a crafter and uh, questions and answers um, all sorts of fun things and we've got a Facebook group uh, come on over and uh, join up we've uh, having a lot of fun over there you're welcome to just lurk and hang out and, and just get bajillions of ideas um, it's a great place to come for inspiration. We do weekly and monthly challenges. We do stuff from the videos. Everybody's showing what they're making. It's a lot of fun. And uh, what? Uh, I feel like I'm missing. Oh, videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. And I think that's it. So, Sunny, what do you? Oh, you're sleeping. He's sleep now. Now he's sleeping. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, Sunny wishes you sweet dreams tonight, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And um, uh, I am looking forward to seeing you soon. We will come carry on with all sorts of fun things that we can do with uh, paper and things related to paper and junk journals. Remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Until next time. See ya.